Hello everyone, this is Diceron here, and I am going to teach you how to install the Metroid Prime 2 Echoes Room Randomizer. If you don't know what that is, Room Randomizer is a, an option that allows you to have the layout of the rooms be shuffled their connections. So you won't have that normal familiar Echoes feel. It's going to be the rooms in an area are completely randomized, where they're located, what they connect to. Um, dark and light world are separate. And it's a really neat experience if you're willing to put up with craziness. To start off, you're going to need the GameCube NTSC release of the game, the only version that works. You also need to download version 0.23.0 .0 of Renovania, which can be found on the GitHub for it, which I will provide a link to in the description. Specifically, this version and not the latest is because this is the last version to support a randomizer. Reason being is that there's no logic ensuring that you can complete a seed, so it had to go. So you want to go to assets, click randomvania, oh, the zip file, not the source code, and download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to bother. Once you do, open that up, and you'll get this, and you'll want to extract it to the folder you're going to have the randomizer set up. I have a folder set up already. Okay, let it extract. Then uh, here it is in the, in the folder. These files you will not have yet. Well, you will have these three. This is to build the ISO and extract files. This is the batch files that actually do the randomization. Uh, you'll also need the ISO. You don't have to put it in the folder I do for, for to make it easier. I would recommend doing the same temporarily. You can make a copy of it and then delete it when you're done. So the first thing I want to do is want to left click the ISO and drop it onto GCIT. I'm using GCIT because for some reason I was having issues with GCR. So we're going with this instead. If we do that, it opens it up. Then I want to extract GCR EEX format. Choose where you want to put it. I'm just going to put it in folder. I'm already in, and it's going to extract the files, which we will use to randomize. And something I should mention is that I will be uploading GCIT and the batch files, and we'll have links to those in the description as well, so you don't have to manually do this stuff. The point of this process is to make it really simple and easy to follow, so that's why I'm doing this tutorial. Once that's done, close out the program, and now you'll have this Metroid Prime 2 Echoes folder. This folder has all the um, data files. And so now let's check a look at the first off actually, let's take a look at the randomizer. So this is the normal folder, like normal. If you use the randomizer, you'll know this is what it is. This is the Renovania, so that's the GUI. We'll not be using the GUI because it's not supported on the GUI. So you go to data, prime randomizer, and open up randomizer.exe. This is the randomizer. Now I will not be using this because this is more tedious and it requires more effort, especially if you want to create, re keep making more seeds because you have to constantly type in the same stuff. So we're not going to use this. The only thing I'm going to mention, look, talk about is the ending, though you'll know for later. Um, the E is exceptions and excluded pickups is pretty much if you have, which you can actually look in the readme, it tells you the items. Um, you can exclude certain items from being randomized. There's no point doing that for room random, so ignore that. And this is the conditions or arguments that the randomizer will use. Uh, I is for item loss. So if you have this option on, you will keep your items at the start. And hive chain B only needs post item loss state, so you can get the item. Uh, always have that on. There's no reason to lose your items. Um, H is HUD pop up. So when you pick up an item, the game doesn't freeze anymore. You just as a pop up on screen, you move on. W is warps, so if you wanted to play a randomized ISO, but just have warps on, um, do that. So anytime you pick up a randomized item, you get warped to a random location in the game, a room in the game rather, except Sky Temple. Um, and you can combine that with room randomizer for even more craziness. Uh, R is room randomizer, which I already explained what that is. B is random elevators, so elevators will go to a random, will connect to a different elevator than normal. Um, you do not have to have this option on when you have room randomization on because the room randomizer automatically has 
elevators randomized, as well as portals, which adds to some interesting things. C is for credits to move faster, which is a uh, definitely want because credits are stupidly slow. <laughs> and T is an option that allows you to warp to the starting location from a save station. So if you cancel a save prompt at a save station, it'll ask you to press X three times and you can warp back to the starting location. So in this case, it'll be the landing site. So we're not going to use that. That's not necessary. So the next thing we're going to do is open the room randomizer.bat. This is the file that is important for the randomization. And you'll see a bunch of commands and variables. Do not get scared by this. Very easy to follow. So the first one is the input of the, well, it's the input. So it's the location of the extracted files. So you want to go into the folder you just made, then stop at root, because that's what the, uh, have it laid out as it's not hard to follow this copy that you could probably just copy the root i didn't i just wanted to put that in there so you knew at the end what had to be there but you could just copy the entire root same thing for the next one um this is the system files these are important for later then you want the output this is where you want to put the folder of uh, the files same thing i'll have a root so go back to the main folder i'm gonna have I'm gonna copy this instead and I'm going to put a name for it so we're gonna call this tutorial and output sys is the same thing oh actually though this is the randomized ones so we're gonna copy the original one again we need these files I couldn't figure out another way to do this so if you have another if you have suggestions Please let me know, but this is the way I figured it out. And then rando is the <laughs> previous one again. And this is the actual randomizer that we looked at before. Menu mod is a tool that allows you to get out of soft locks so you can give yourself items, warp anywhere, save anywhere, etc. Change layers. That's useful to have on. Especially useful for console players if you don't have Dolphin. And extract videos, these are the this disables the demo videos because they have caused problems on the old randomizer. And here's the randomizer.exe like, command line. This is here. Easy access. Uh, just so you know, you don't have to set this up every single time. All you, like, these are just the setup steps. And once you're done here, you're going to save it. Then you're gonna actually going to run it. So double click it. This is a warp version. So the only difference from that and this is that you add a W here for warps, but um, that's up to you to add. And now we're going to actually run this thing. And this will actually copy the files from here into into the new ones that you can actually watch if I put it next to it. Um, the reason you want to copy is that if you didn't, you'd have to duplicate or you have to re-extract the files every single time. And this makes it so much easier. So you only have to do that once. And now every time you make a seed, you ru just run this file and then you recombine the files with GCIT when it's done. So it's very, very easy to do. And you just let it go. It's going to take a little bit, but we're almost done here. Okay, so there's a slight error on this, actually. I messed up. You want to, the output sys set to the randomizer location. Not the original, that wouldn't make sense. Let me just uh, rerun that. Okay, so now this should be done correctly. That was a mistake on my part before. There we go. And now all we do, just like before, we drag and drop GCIT, or the folder onto GCIT. And you want to make sure you save as trimmed ISO. If it's full size, it won't work. And let's call it tutorial. That's not what I said. Oh my gosh, please. Tutorial.iso. And this is going to save the ISO with the newly randomized files. And we're just about done. Now that's done. All that's left is to test. So I'm going to use Dolphin. I didn't even save it anyways. Oh. Uh, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. You can rename it later. Oh, that's weird. So here it is. 
Also, like I said, you can play a Nintendo. It's up to you. I'm just going to test on the Dolphin because I can. Whenever it loads, I get to show it off. Okay, it's all loaded up. And this is the room randomizer in action. Again, it's too slow. Let's get through this. The landing site start. And, oh, see that? <laughs> There's a gate. I can't go anywhere. Well, let's see what this door has to offer. And it's possible this seat is, is already impossible. Um, that's just the luck of the draw. You may have to give yourself items to progress. It's just... That's just how it goes. Okay, now we just have a bunch of rooms. And if you want menu mod, tap up on the D-pad four times. And that gets you your whole uh, set of menus. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's uh, useful. Give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions. And see you all next time for the next information video. Have a good one.